hi all so today in this video we'll be covering about how we can uh, fetch or get the selected text from a single select drop down so let's say we have selected a value in a single select drop down and we want to assert uh, like whether that value is selected or not so how we can get selected value from a select drop down that we'll be seeing in this video with playwright so let's see that so for this uh, what uh, we can do like I can create a test method here or another test method or something like this and let's let make it two so it is test example two and after that uh, what we have to do we have to page dot go to and the URL so here for this uh, scenario and I'll be using uh, different website so let's navigate to this URL and after that what we'll be doing we'll be selecting a value so mm, let's inspect it and this is a select drop down and we get ID right drop down so what we can do we can put like this and it is highlighting two value but we need the select one so for that I think we have to construct the look uh, selector so uh, let's select is select ID equals to drop down okay so we created our CSS selector and I'm um, creating a locator so um, select drop down equals to page dot locator and then what we have to do we have to select it right so select drop down dot uh, select option or instead of select drop down we can say just drop down so drop down dot select options and which option we want to select we let's inspect it and uh, here we want to select option number one okay so I can use a label so level equals to option one right yeah so uh, okay so we have selected option one and then we have to give some timeout so let's give a timeout of two seconds and uh, then uh, we what we want uh, let's see let's run it and see whether it's getting selected or not and then we'll do the next uh, accents right so to run it we have to um, hit by test mine does does headed and uh, then we need to go to v6 and then test uh, select Test select drop down and colon colon uh, this value. So you can see option one was selected so it's working now the next step is we have to validate right whether option one is selected or not right or we have to first fetch the values so for doing that we can create a new method like um, uh, something like get selected option right or it can be something like this get selected option and here we will be passing the locator of uh, which uh, which we want 
so uh, okay so basically I can create a new method here so create a functions called get selected option and uh, now uh, you can see it's get created and here uh, what we can do oh, basically we do not need a um, selector I mean do not need a method for that fund for the time being and let's uh, just use it here so the basically what we will be doing see there is no such methods available from the playwright side right so if I just use like this let's say I want to uh, get the value so uh, something like that so let's say drop down dot um, uh, there is no something get selected options or it's just the select drop down select option is available right so we do not have any such uh, predefined methods from playwright uh, to get the selected option so we have to use our logic to fetch uh, the value so basically what we can do if I select here option 1 you can see once I select option 1 there the, this DOM structure gets changed and you can see this selected equals to selected this fields I mean this attributes are added here in the DOM so we can validate whether I mean uh, we can create X path and validate whether this is there or not, right? So, so let's create a locator. Or what we can see, I mean, uh, uh, we can just uh, create a locator for this value so that let's say it's it's it should be selecting this option one so let's do that so we have uh, we we have reached to here through the css and then we have to use angle bracket and then uh, what we can do we can use option and uh, then we can use selected equals to selected right so we reached here and um, if I select select options 2 you can see uh, this will work also so it is now selecting the value 2 that is option 2 so uh, whatever selected value it will be if there is thousands I mean hundreds of values then wherever whatever single values we will be selecting it would just identify just one element right uh, so this X path will be generic so we can use it and um, let's go here and create a selected value equals to page dot locator and then use it so this is our selected value and now what you can try selected value dot uh, count right so we can print it first and another thing we can print like selected value dot inner text right so let's run it and see uh, whether it's working or not so I have used minus s for showing the output <sighs> taking some time mm -hmm. so it's failed let's run one more time Okay, so it's loaded option 1 was selected and it closed and we can see uh, it gave a count of 1 and option 1 so this 
two could be our assertion point so it should find one element okay so we can see just one unique element got selected and uh, after that uh, it selected it, it get the text option one right okay now we can easily give some assertion here so assert by test assertion so assert uh, uh, this value uh, equals to equals to option one right and we can delete it and we do not need this as well because this is just printing the count so this should be enough for our assertion so let's run one more time so option one was selected and it passed right it was very fast that is why we could not see it properly i mean uh, here actually we need to give some weight after this page loaded so we can try that as well we can give some weight here and also this time let's select option two So option 2 got selected and it should closed and uh, it failed okay yeah that's right right it should fail because option was one is not the correct answer so that's why it failed so it is expecting option 2 but found option 1 so I hope it is clear let me clarify and uh, correct it and uh, let execute let's for the last time okay so that that's it so one passed and please remember uh, this this is this uh, things only work if we have uh, these things like selected equals to selected or something changing uh, when we are selecting a value in the uh, select drop down right so if this is not there then uh, this approach will not work then we have to apply some different approach maybe so i hope it is helpful and let me know if you have any queries and please like share and subscribe thank you for watching